All right, I'm now going to do a series of uh, cutouts. I have a thin piece of aluminum here. I'm going to glue on, that is it, the back side. I sprayed them, I'll just show you. They're really just pictures that I printed out, and I'll show you what they are. Now, what it is, these are the pictures I printed out for the United States Navy, I was in the Navy, and then the ships I was on. Printed out the, the decals they signed from the internet, I found them. And what it is, I glued it down on a thin piece of aluminum. I'm gonna cut them out, they're basically all just circles, but what it is, to stay on and then I'll spray. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. I did a number of them here for my grandkids, different characters, and even a little Wonder Woman with granddaughter's face on it and a grandson's face. And I'll show you what that looks like after I cut them out and uh, glue the pins on the back of them. What it is, what it is after I, because this is this print paper I printed it on. I go ahead and I spray it with a, a clear varnish coat to seal the, the printed material in case they get wet or whatever. And uh, like I say, the difference between this technique and what it is I'm cutting out more of these other ones that they're three at a time is that I take all the paper off with lacquer thinner that I had pasted on here. These, like I say, will permanently stay on there. And I'll show you what it looks like. Really, really it's a nice technique. All right, here are the cutout shapes. After I've cut them out and sanded them around or whatever. Like I said, there's no inside cutting. I'm just going to hit them with some clear finish. Veritane. And uh, just, to, like I said, to seal them. Show you up close with this looks. Here's the the back of one of these. You can see all it really is is I got a straight pin. I use uh, JB Weld to glue them down. And uh, here's a close up, but maybe shows a little better on one of the white ones that. But I just glue a safety pin. I I put a little. piece of wood up underneath here to when it's gluing down just to hold it up up away from the metal while it's setting up. One thing I didn't point out was that the reason I glued the the straight pin on the back of the object is so that you can go ahead and hang it on a screen. That straight pin's a stainless steel, it won't rust. You put it right through one of the little holes on the in a screen won't damage the screen. Plus, if you even got a hole in the screen, you can put your, your object right over the hole in the screen and block it. But uh, the design is they're hung up on a screen. You can rearrange them, cut out shapes for distant seasons, and put them up. 
it's real easy to move them around in the, in the locations. All right. All right, here's this last grouping of uh, cutouts that I did. Uh, like I say, what it is, I contact cemented the pictures down on uh, on the metal. Like I say, I was just using metal like and cutouts like these. But uh, I glued the picture down, and after I glued the picture down, cut it out. Uh, I sprayed it with a clear uh, varnish finish to protect it from the weather. And now I'll take them up. Uh, top two on the left was my granddaughter. The dog like and uh, one in the middle there is for my grandson and, uh, and there my granddaughter and grandson. Alright, that's it. I'm going to post this video now.